Welcome to another one of my little nub videos. I'm Brian from Cigars and Pairings, and today I'm talking about cigar cutting and cigar lighting. Let's get into it. I got uh, two cigars here. We got Gurkha for what not to do, and we got Onyx for how to do it. All right, so I got the Gurkha. I, I see this frequently happen with a lot of people. They get a cigar and they say, oh yeah, yeah, no, I know how to cut it. And then they take the cutter and they go down like, and make the cut. When you make the cut that far, and you take it that far off, the cap comes off completely, and this, the wrapper is ready to unwrap on you. That's what you don't want to do. All right, so the onyx, for what to do. All right, so here's how you make your cut. You want to take the cigar cutter and find the curve, where the curve is, but you don't want to go too far all the way down. You want to just hit it about halfway down the curve. So I took off just a little bit of the cap. The cap is still intact. See the cap there? The cap is still wrapped around. That keeps your wrapper nice and sealed. Now that we've made our cut, let me just talk a little bit about the different types of cut because I should go over that. A lot of people know there's the punch, there's the V cut, and then there's the guillotine cut, which is what I just used, the guillotine cut. Just a straight scissor cut or something. I find that the, the straight cut is what I use the most. Um, I find it's also probably going to be the best thing for beginners too because it's going to evenly distribute the sm where the smoke exits. That's not going to be as concentrated as what a punch is going to give you or a V cut. And that's what V cut and punch offers. You know, what I would suggest is if you like a cigar and it's your favorite cigar, or you know that you like that and you like to keep it in your humidor, or you know you're going to be going back to that cigar, try it several times with just the guillotine cut first until you know you like it. And then try a punch or a V cut on it and see how that makes the flavor different. But like I said, I, I like to stick to the normal guillotine cut. There are some cigars I, ha I like with very small tapering caps and you're gonna wanna use a punch on those. So in some cases, you're gonna find a cigar that's gonna need a specific type. You know, if you're smoking a Perfecto, you're gonna wanna have the guillotine cutter. But anyway, now that we've talked about different types of cuts and how to make the right cut and the wrong cut, let's take a look about how to, how to get this thing lit, so. What you don't wanna do when you're lighting a cigar is actually touch the cigar to the flame. I know it's kind of windy right now, but you don't want to see that flame touching the cigar at all. This is ruining the flavor of the cigar. So this is, and I see a lot of people do this, a lot of people just kind of, even if they're warming, even if you're just toasting, you don't want to toast like this. I'll show you how to properly do it. Now what you want is, it's a little windy here, but you want to tease it. That little bit of space in between is just enough. I can already see smoke coming off the cigar. It's almost a full inch over that flame. And that's what you want. You want to just tease the tobacco with the flame. You never want the flame to actually touch the tobacco. You want to, you want to toast it until everything is evenly distributed. You see it nice and it doesn't look brown anymore. It's nice and gray, charcoal gray. And then once it's everything's nice and distributed, and it should take automatically. It should, just above the flame, that's enough. That's enough to light it. And that gives you the maximum amount of flavor without any damage to the tobacco. Learning how to properly light and cut a cigar is, is part of what goes along with the enjoyment of a cigar. You're never gonna get to the full enjoyment if you're constantly charring your cigars up or always having bits and pieces of tobacco in your mouth because you didn't cut it correctly, so. So I hope that you learned a little something today about how to properly light and cut. And uh, if you like this video, I hope you check out some more of my videos at Cigars and Pairings. I'm Brian, and uh, enjoy your smokes. That's nice.